Well, hello there. Well, it's the uh, the last week in April, uh, and it's a, a nice day. It's quite cold. Uh, we've had quite a cold April, um, but I'm off to the river uh, to try my new line out. It's the um, first time I've actually got down to the river. This April has been very dry and it's uh, been very cold in the morning. We've had a, a frost for at least the last 20 mornings, which is quite unusual. We've had no showers, um, but the home, the garden is, is very dry and it's dry down here. The river is quite low, but it certainly hasn't stopped the wildflowers growing here. It is really quite beautiful. And for the first time, uh, I can hear the cuckoo. In fact, uh, if I keep quiet now, you might just hear the cuckoo in the background. I haven't got the very best um, um, sound equipment on my camera, but I'm hoping to get something a little better later. Well, it really is lovely to hear the cuckoo. As Wordsworth said, shall I call thee bird or but a wandering voice? Now I'm having a sit down and I found this uh, mallard's uh, duck egg, which uh, whether it was predated or whether um, uh, it hatched out, I don't know. But I have seen some mallard on the river, so I believe it to be a mallard's egg. Now the woodland uh, floor is covered with uh, wildflowers and we've also got this uh, uh, dog's mercury which is uh, it's not a it hasn't much of a flower um, but it is an indicator one of the indicators of ancient woodland uh, but it can be very poisonous uh, it certainly make you very sick if you ate a leaf by mistake uh, certainly wouldn't risk it there, there's some lovely flowers here, there's stitch wart, the, the bluebells are just starting to come through. Primroses, there are primroses everywhere. Uh, it certainly is a very beautiful morning and it's a lovely place just sitting there. And there's a, a lovely king cup or, or marsh marigold. It's got lots of different names in different areas, um, but it's a lovely bright yellow flower. Loves wet places. Anyway, I start a little bit of fishing and uh, I actually catch something this time. It's only uh, it's a small uh, sea trout or smolt. One of the problems is where I'm standing there's a, there's a branch of a tree right above me and I keep catching it with the rod tip. Uh, it's one of the things when you're fishing in woodland areas you spend a lot of time uh, untangling your line from twigs and grasses and trees. Small sea trout. Now that one, I forgot that fly. I forgot to uh, take the barb off. I always like to take the barb off, but that was a fly I hadn't used before. 
and I forgot the barb anyway there's no barb on it now it was only a, a little tiny fly just uh, you can see it's not a very big fly slightly um, green a little dark head and some gold wire around it but anyway it worked for that little uh, sea trout It is most important to uh, use barbless hooks because you can return these little fish completely unharmed to the water uh, and I like to do it as quickly as possible but it is lovely to, to look at them. Uh, they are so beautiful. Look at those lovely little red spots. And... Well, I've had a lovely morning. I've caught a few little fish uh, and they've all been returned. Uh, I hope later on to catch uh, some of the larger uh, stockfish that they put in um, and, that, and they can be taken home but it's a bit early for them I think they'll be lying fairly low um, soon they'll start to feed on the natural uh, insects that are in the water and they'll start to become like little wild fish Anyway, it's a, a lovely morning spent by a lovely river, um, listening to the sounds of spring. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that little video. If you did, please click a like or perhaps subscribe. Anyway, look forward to making another video soon. Goodbye for now.